Good morning, Strato. Ready to get to work? Yes, I am. All right, let's get to work. What if your smart home was one step ahead of you every morning? My morning routines tend to follow a similar routine day after day, so why not automate it? Work was chosen. I've set the room accordingly. You've got the following event coming up. Monday morning kickoff meeting at 9 a.m. Enjoy the day. Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Like a lot of you, I work from home and fall into a pretty consistent routine day after day. Same room, same action, same setup. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I automated my office morning routine using Home Assistant, Presence Sensor, and a little bit of Voice Assistant, Home Assistant scripting magic. Now the flow changes depending upon if it's a weekday, a weekend, or a variety of other conditions. For example, on weekends, and today's a Sunday, I'll get a different flow when I enter my office for the first time. Good morning, Strato. Happy Sunday. What's on the agenda for today? Just passing through. Cool, let me set the room. And now she's handing it off to my script. Just passing through or grabbing something was chosen. And typically, I don't do anything with that flow except turn on the big light in the room. And that's just one of six pre-programmed responses that I have in here. I can say something like editing videos for YouTube, filming, working on Home Assistant, play a video game, playing with my cats, or working. And each of those pathways or options has a bunch of aliases for what I can possibly say. So it does take a little bit of setup on the front end to get this all going. But once you have it set up, it's like having an LLM running without any of the AI complexity. Once in a while, I'll say something that doesn't trigger properly. And then it dawns upon me that that's a possible thing that I might say in response. So I'll add it to the list. And then next time if I say that, everything works as intended. Let's try another option. Good morning, Strato. Happy Sunday. What's on the agenda for today? Video editing. All right, happy editing. So now again, she's handing it off to the script. It's chosen. I've set the room accordingly. No upcoming events. And as you can see, she raised my shades. She set my temperature in the room. Did a few other things. Everything that I have set up in that workflow that stems from me responding with video editing. Now to put the shades back down, I'll choose playing a video game because I like it dark and moody in here when I play games. What's on the agenda for today? Play a video game. Cool, let me set the room. Play a video game was chosen. I've set the room accordingly. Enjoy the gaming set. And she set my light to red back there. She closed my shades. And again, whatever else I want in that flow that stems from that pathway. Now, if you do want to add some AI to this, there is another option that you can use as a fallback. So let's say I say something that's not in the list of canned responses. I have it set so that she will then hand it off to my local LLM to process the request and read between the lines. So let's give that a shot. What's on the agenda for today? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe I might play a video game. Cool, let me set the room. Play a video game was chosen. I've set the room accordingly. Enjoy the gaming sesh. Okay, so in that situation, that long response that I gave was not a pre-canned response that I had set up. So it had to hand that response off to the LLM to then interpret what the intent was. So again, you can set this all up without any AI, but if you do want to layer that in, you can have that as a fallback. So most of the time, she'll work really, really fast and go down your pre-carbs pathways. But if she gets confused, you can then rely on that more intelligent LLM to parse through the responses. So if I jump into the trace for that script and actually show you what happened here, here are all the pipelines that the script can go down depending upon what my response is. And you can see that the last one was chosen here. It says, if no preset options match, then we're gonna pass it off over to 
the LLM reach out to Lorelei, and that's exactly what it did. If I head back over to the script, you can see here are all of the pathways, and here's that option seven. It says, if no options match, reach out to the LLM, and it's simply just starting a conversation process action and giving back the entire response that I delivered so far. But you can see how powerful this is. You can just keep layering different options and by combining this native Home Assistant feature with an LLM, you can really get the best of both worlds. A really fast privacy focused workflow while having redundancy via an LLM. Now let's get some light in here. If I choose the work option, she'll open the shades. Obviously there are other ways to do that, but since this is the topic of the video, Let's run through the demo one more time. Good morning, Strato. Happy Sunday. What's on the agenda for today? Work. All right, let's get to work. Work was chosen. I've set the room accordingly. And speaking of smart shades, my friends at SmartWave hooked me up with this automated smart shade system that I really, really love. The SmartWave motorized shades speak matter through my Apple TV border router, and the physical install was way easier than I was afraid it might be. And this was my first matter device, and honestly, the hardest part was getting matter fully reliably working in Home Assistant while running in Docker. More on that in a bit, but if you're using Home Assistant OS, you can simply install the matter add on, which greatly simplifies things. Installation started right out of the box. Inside, you've got the shade, all the mounting hardware, and everything else you need to get going. First, I removed the old curtains and brackets and hardware from the window frame. Once the frame was clear, I mounted the new brackets using the included anchors. And with the new brackets installed, the shade simply clicks into place. The power cable runs cleanly down the side in a very thin cable, tucked into the seam so it stays hidden. And from there, it plugs directly into a standard wall outlet. And that's it. Once it's powered up, the shade is ready to pair and you're immediately able to control it. The rest of the room is a mix of hue bulbs, a Z-Wave smart power strip for my desk lights, and a Kara temperature sensor which feeds the climate logic, and I have an IR blaster from Seed called the Chow IR Mate, cool little device which handles controlling an otherwise dumb space heater. And I also have my Google Calendar integrated so that I can have my upcoming events announced in the morning, which is especially handy for my work routine. What I love about this is you can keep layering options and conditions and follow-up questions indefinitely. The only real limit is how much time you want to invest in it and how creative you can be. Long term, I think local LLMs will probably handle intent actions like this more fluidly without much pre-configuration, but we're not quite there yet. If you want to dig deeper into today's setup, check out the companion blog post link below. It includes sample YAML, Docker config settings, and a bunch of other assets and requirements that I went over today, but in far more detail. Huge thanks to SmartWave for sending over the shade kit. Their support has been excellent, and I'll definitely be adding these to more rooms coming soon. As always, all the links are below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.